Hello everybody, welcome back to Feed the World and today we're going to be looking into the basics of forestry because we need to get started with our wheat farm. So uh, let's go! Right, so we're back on the farm and if you remember last episode we went up there to that giant mountain in the distance. You see where it says latest death? Well, guess what? I died there. I got horribly mashed by a wisp, but I did find some cool loot. Check it out. I didn't have time to properly look at what I got. I just had to empty the chest and make a run for it before any more beasties came back. Now we're back at home. We can take a look in the safety of our four walls. And here we are, a Thormium pickaxe. Thormium sword. Oh, and an enchanted book of feather falling. That'll come in useful. When I get some armor, I can put that on the armor. But for the time being, let's just equip this sword and the pick. Oh yeah, beautiful. Get those torches in there. But that's not all. Last episode, we discovered that the base, our house, is right next to a monster spawner and a dungeon. And that means there's a loot chest. So, my mission this episode is to dive in there and, uh, and grab the loot and take care of all the zombies that spawn uh, when I go and get that. So, ooh, how am I going to do this? Uh, I'll jump in there with the torch and just... Oh, I can't, I can't put torches down. There's too much water. Um, what am I going to do? I've got to clear this water out of the way. Maybe if I block up the spawner like that, although I don't think that works either. No, it doesn't look. Uh-oh. I'm just going to loot these chests then and get in and out quick before too many zombies spawn. Okay, let's go. What's in here? Oh, another enchanted book. Flame one. String. Steel sword. Some iron ingots. Some copper. More string. Another bucket. Okay, oh. Let's take this joker out. Okay, let's get the other chest. What's in here? Enchanted book of punch. Two. A steel helmet. Ah, oh, sweet. Redstone. Wheat are oh, perfect for making bread. And of course, more string. Okay, not a great find. I could have found much better things in there, but nevertheless, let's just get out of here before more zombies turn up. There we go, and I'm home free. Okay, let's just get back to base with these. And I think I'm going to relocate my crafting table and my chest indoors. Now, the house isn't finished. I need to come back, add stairs, and... Oh, there's tons of stuff in here, actually. That's going to dislodge a bunch of stuff when I break that chest, so I'll just rebuild a chest over here instead. One more chest, there we go. Now I can make a big chest inside and I can start transferring all my goodies into the house. Here we go. Okay, chest in place. First up, let's get these enchanted books safe. Let's get the redstone safe. Some copper there, that'll stack. Now I'm going to have to come back and redecorate the house inside. I need a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom, and perhaps a study where I can enchant my stuff. Did I pick up the crafting table? Yeah, there it is. Where I can enchant my stuff and perhaps do some Thorncraft researching. Okay, right. So, first task, get that bee. There's a beehive over there and I need a... what's it called? A scoop to get the bee from inside it now to build a scoop. I need woolen sticks. So that's where you come in, my friend Dolly. That's right, give me all your wool. How do, how do you how do you get wool from a sheep again? You just kill it, right? And then it, there we go. That's one wool. Sorry, Dolly. I could have built some shears, but uh, I don't really have the iron to spare. Or do I actually? I think I've got some in the chest. Either way, it's sticks time. Let's make some more. And then it's time to build a scoop. Hooray! Okay, it's time to catch some bees. Let's go. Right, let's see what we get when we uh, when we dig this um this beehive. Okay, you left click with the scoop. Oh, bees! Bees! Okay, what have I got? A Meadows Princess. Oh, we got royalty here. We've got a royal bee. I, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's a Meadows Princess and a Meadows Drone. I guess Meadows is because the hive is located in a Meadows biome, so you get a Meadows style bee. If we were in a jungle, I'd find a jungle bee. If we were in, a t in the tundra, 
I'd find a tundra bee. Now, I, I saw a, a beehive over here behind the house as well while I was building. So let's go and take our scoop and see what bees we find in there. Let's go, guys. Come on. Okay, there it is. The hive. I just hope I don't get stung. Here we go. What's inside? A couple of bees. Oh, and what's that? Was that some honeycomb? Oh, it was, yeah. So we've got two Meadows drones, a Meadows princess, and another Meadows princess. I guess, does every hive have a queen? I think that's how it works, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can find any more beehives. Do do do. Bouncing across the world. Could harvest some wool while we're out here, but I don't have any uh, any shears. Oh, there's some sugarcane over there. That'll come in useful if I want to build a sugarcane farm. What's that block over there? Is that a hive? I think it is. I think that's a hive. Yeah, it looks like a hive. It's white, though. Uh-oh. What is what is a white hive? Let's find out. Let's use the scoop on this bad boy. Okay, get in close. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, a white hive. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit scared, actually. What if these are killer bees? Well, there's only one way to find out. No, no, they're good bees. Now, what are these? These are marbled princess and marbled drone. What's that block over there? There's a weird... Oh, no, that's not a block. That's just where the water and the sand kind of hit each other. Oh, there's another hive over there? Oh, man, let's, let's just turn this into a bee hunting episode. To hell with the forestry basics. I want to catch me some bees. There are tons of these marbled hives. So let's just raid them and get all the bees. Oh, there's one over here. Da da da. The bee hunter. Oh, it's, like, it's like Pokemon, but with bees. Only you always catch bees. You don't catch anything apart from bees. Uh, let's see. Got a princess, a princess. Drone, princess, princess. Drone, honeycomb. Okay, let's weave our way back to the farmhouse. Oh, oh no, the squid's dying! No! Sebastian! Oh, is, did the squid die? Oh, oh, well, free ink. Don't mind if I do. Yoink! Now, any hives in this little forest a bit? I don't see any. No, it looks empty. Okay, let's head our way back to the farmhouse and put these bees in the chest. Whoa, what's this? Now, this is a weird tree. It's got a kind of white blue trunk. It's sparkling. It's a sparkling tree? Maybe bashing one of these flowers will give us a clue. What's this? Quicksilver. Oh, hello. I'll take some quicksilver. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I'll have to come back here in future to gather more quicksilver, I think. But yeah, point of interest. A quicksilver tree. Okay, and there's the house. Let's go. So if we're to get into forestry, we're going to need some materials. So it's time to grab my diamond pick and go mining. Let's go. I saw some coal up on the sides. of the Oh, there's some copper. I love copper. Let's get some of that. Now, a thormium pick. What is that? Is that strong? Is it quicker than diamond? Is it more durable than diamond? Let's find out. Well, so far it seems slower. I think it might be used for Thorncraft specific materials. So I'm just going to hold on to this for the, for the time being. Stop using it to save its durability and stick with my diamond pick. Okay, night's falling so I'm going to head back to base, build a door and look into what I need to get my first forestry machines. And so here we go. It's time to build our barn. Not a barn for cattle, but a barn for machines. So I used my stone shovel and started to dig away the mud before I realized that stone shovel just wasn't going to cut it. I had too much mud to dig. So I got an iron shovel and began to clear out all of this dirt. Once that was done, I filled in the gaps and had a nice stable platform on which to build my barn. So I dug out a layer and filled that layer in with light spruce wood, and light spruce was the theme I wanted to stick with for the wood on this structure. I had to be careful though, because night fell and I was attacked by a zombie. Once I'd seen him off, I ran inside, had a sleep, and turned it to day. And then began to finish the wooden framework, 
out of this uh, this birch birch log you see here. Then I filled in the gaps with cobblestone and began to create the roof out of again lighter birch wooden staircases. I keep calling it spruce, but it's it's actually birch. Using dirt as a primitive kind of scaffolding to get in place to finish the roof. And there we go, the finished building with a window at the back. I might add windows to the sides yet, I don't know. So let's go back into first person and check it out. So here she is, my barn. This is where all my machines are going to go. Well, not all of them, but perhaps most of them. This is going to be where I'm going to hold the bulk of like the carpenter. Oh, oh shit, incoming. Uh oh, is he after me? No, he's he's not coming towards me. He's he's not killing me. Oh, oh, he's killing me now. Oh, okay, he's toast. Right, yeah, so my machines are going to go in here. Let me just get rid of some of this dirt that I've used for scaffolding. There we go, that's out of the way. Now, yeah, this is the barn, complete. Almost. I need to decorate the inside, much like the house, but we've even got the exit point around the back here where we can ship in all the materials we need. Now, before we do anything, we're going to need to build peat. Now, what do I mean by peat? I mean, in forestry, peat is a kind of fuel source that we can use for peat engines, and I'm going to need peat engines to run some of the machines that I'm going to build and put inside the, f the farm's barn. So, to build peat, we need bog earth, and to get bog earth, we need sand, dirt, and water. So what I'm doing now is I'm gathering up a load of sand. And once I've got a bunch of that, I'll head back to my house and create some bog earth. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Now, I've realized something. Unfortunately, because the top level of my house is sealed off and very dark, it's become a bit of a monster den. And all I can hear is spiders and skeletons clanking around up there. So as soon as I build some stairs to go upstairs, uh, I'm going to have a fight on my hands for sure. And if I want to fight, I'm going to need to be able to defend myself and have enough health to do so. At the moment, I've only got two hearts, and that's that's bad news. Right, so let's, uh, let's get some buckets out of the chest. There we go. Go collect some water. And then, oh, just be careful, none of the spiders escape after me. Oh, there's one trying to get out. Now I'll grab some water. Somebody suggested in the comments section that I should build an infinite water source, and I think that's an excellent idea. So I'm just going to get some water from the stream over here and build a kind of well near my house that I can always come back to for an infinite source of water. I'm just going to plonk it right here near the corner. Now, to make an infinite source of water, you need 3x3. Three three. No, wait, it's 2x2, two two, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, 2x2. Two two. And then if I plonk that there, and uh, have I got another one? Yeah, there we go. And that there, I can always dig the corner, and it'll always fill back up. There we go. Now, let's just fill this bucket. And let's get to making some bog earth. Now, bog earth is made by putting a water bucket in the middle dirt around the corners, and then sand there, and hey presto, bog earth, sweet. And we don't lose the bucket, thank god, we only lose the water inside it. So we can just put a bunch of that there, put a bunch of earth in the corners, dirt, premium Sipsco dirt, so this is the finest bog earth. And then hey presto, we have 18 bog earth, and I'm going to make uh, pick a bunch of this because I'm going to need a lot of peat to power my engines. And so I'm going to need an active peat farm. That's creating lots of peat. There we go. Three more buckets. And let's make three more bunches of bog earth. There we go. And the dirt. In it goes. And the water bucket. And there we are, 36 pieces of bog earth. Now let's just put this dirt and sand back in my inventory. 
and let's go make our little bogger peat farm. Now I'm going to be doing this temporarily because eventually once I get the machines to do this, I'll be able to farm peat with machines. But for now, I'm just going to put bog earth in this little lake here, this little pond outside the back of my house. And this should turn into peat once it's been next to bog earth for a while. Oh, my iron shovel's broken. There it goes. But it's okay. I'll just use my fists for this last bit of dirt. And that should be enough space to put down all of this bog earth. Here we go. Oh, no, I've got one bog earth spare. So I can just plonk that there. And there we go. I'll come back to this in a bit when it's turned to peat. Now, while that peat, while that bogged earth is maturing into peat, I need to build myself the first peat-fired engine. And to do that, I'm going to need iron, copper. I've got some bars here as well as ore. In fact, what I'll probably do first is build a furnace. That's going to come in handy for smelting all the ore I get. It's pretty vital, actually. So I'm going to plonk that there, put some coal in it, and start smelting this copper. Is that right? No, that's the wrong way around. There we go. Now, to build a peat-fired engine, I need first a piston. How do you build a piston? Let's see. Have we got any wood in here for sticks? Oh, no, I've got some in my pack. Right. So, a piston is, let's see... I think it's cobblestone. A stick. Is it wood? One of these is iron, I'm pretty sure. And the other is redstone, actually. Where's the redstone from in here? Okay, so redstone, iron, cobblestone, wood. Is that it? Yes, there we go. Piston. So we've got the piston. Now we need copper gears. And to get copper gears, well, we can do this two ways. We can use iron or we can use wood and stone. I think we're going to use wood and stone because it's much cheaper. So first up, we need a wooden gear. So we put sticks like that. Only we're going to need two of these. So I'm just going to get the sticks out of there. Make some more sticks. There we go. Perfect. Get the wood out of there. Right, so we need two wooden gears, like that. Then we put the wood in the middle. And we make two stone gears, then we get rid of that cobblestone. Then we put the stone gears in the middle and surround them with copper and hey presto, copper gears. Okay, so that's the second part of what we need for our peat-fired engine. We'll also need glass and copper bars, so let's get the glass out of the chest. There we go, that'll do. So it's glass in the middle, a piston at the bottom, copper gears there, and copper on the top, and hey presto, our peat-fired engine. Fantastic. So let's plonk this down in the barn, see what it looks like. Put it somewhere near the back. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that, baby. Here we go. Right, so we've got our peat fired engine and we've got our bog earth and our peat maturing around the back. Let's take a look. Nope, it's still not matured. So join me next episode when we put the peat into the engine and we get one step closer to, to raising our first crops. Now I'm going to need to find a way to sustain myself because I've only got two hearts and building an automatic farm is a long way away. So I'm gonna have to think about maybe building a makeshift wheat farm. So I've been Stjin. Hit like and favorite if you enjoyed the show and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.